My name is Max Goldberg from Organic Insider. I am here in New York City and earlier today I spoke with USDA Secretary Sonny Perdue. I was able to ask him about numerous topics in the organic food industry and specifically I spoke with him about hydroponics in organic, the most controversial issue in our industry today. Here is my conversation with USDA Secretary Sonny Perdue. Secretary Bredou, thank you so much for your time today. Um, I write about the organic food industry, so obviously my question is about that. And the, the first question is is about hydroponics, yes. which I'm sure you're very familiar with. So according to uh, Section 6513 of the Organic Foods Production Act of 1990, it says that uh, it's, farmers are required to have a plan that fosters soil fertility. So the USDA came out in January and said hydroponics is allowed in organic and always has been. Can you just explain that? Because there's a lot of small family farmers who are growing in the soil and they are unable to compete against the big hydroponic operators. And it seems that according to OFBA, that hydroponics would not be legal. And yet USDA is saying it's legal. Could you please address that? Who are you saying that we declared it would not be legal? No, the USDA came out in January. Yes, and said, I understand, yeah. but you said someone said it would not be legal. Well, no, if, if you look at off, but what it says in the Organic Foods Production Act, it says you need to have a management plan that fosters <laughs> soil fertility. Yeah. And so growing plants in a, in, a, in a container with water doesn't seem to address soil fertility. I think our job is to feed everyone. Our motto at USDA is to do right and feed everyone. Okay. We're not necessarily uh, prescribed. It's not, it shouldn't be competitive. Mm -hmm. Just like the, the meat industry, we've got new technology with stem cell protein growth there. And uh, while some people may be anxious of taking their markets, shouldn't we in the United States be about how we can grow and feed people more efficiently and more effectively, not here in the U.S., only in the U.S., but around the world. So these these techniques need to be embraced, not, not kept out of. The organic industry has done a wonderful job, $50 billion now. I think I would be welcome if they would embrace other techniques as well in order to help feed others. Okay. Um, what is going to happen, sir, if the Farm Bill, I know that's out of your hands, but the Farm Bill doesn't yeah get signed by September 30th. A lot of the small but very powerful programs, a lot of them having to do with organic, uh, the, the organic cost uh, share certification program. Sure. What happens to those uh, come August for October 1st yeah. Yeah, if, it, if we don't have a new farm bill in place? Some of those are not continued, obviously. Right. You know that, uh, and some of those kind of programs that you describe, such as the organic uh, uh, program, uh, may be casualties of that. That's why we would love to see the Congress deal with uh, the Farm Bill. Mm -hmm. It's getting less likely and less hopeful that that will happen, but mm -hmm. uh, we've been very much uh, calling for a, uh, a renewed Farm Bill that people could plan on and could survive. These programs could continue to operate as they have been. And or fraudulent organic grains from abroad has been a big issue. Yes. Uh, foreign countries ripping off American consumers. Right. I know that uh, I've, I've heard the conversations with people at NOP uh, about addressing that. How much of a priority is that within well, USDA? It's a huge priority. I think yeah. we're making progress in that. Mm -hmm. there, uh, for our APHIS and uh, market access programs, we are uh, really looking and auditing and, uh, and discovering more and more about that. We are doing some forensics over products that come here in a technological uh, laboratory type of way that can help us determine uh, where those are not truly organic and we're cutting off those, even those third party certifiers, as you know, that we can't be everywhere. So mm -hmm. when we find the third party certifiers on organic are not doing their job, then we're discontinuing that relationship. Mm -hmm. So it is a priority. Yeah. Time for okay, last question. Where, where do things stand now with uh, the, the federal GMO bioengineering, uh, you know, the GMO labeling yes, bill? We will have the uh, rule out by the end of the year. End of the year. Obviously, yes, it'll, it'll be done. We missed our uh, early deadline. Their, uh, OMB took some extra time to look at the, what we had proposed, but it'll be out there by the end of the year. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you very much.